All right, today we are doing electrical. That's right, it's exciting. Finally getting these big, this big battery system all connected up. How big is this battery system? I have six 300 amp hour batteries. That's right, six 300 amp hour lithium ion batteries, all at 12 volt. Yeah, this may be the largest camper electrical system that I have know of, at least in battery capacity. And this all started as a complete DIY exhibition camper all the way from the chassis up. And so now that the camper's built, building out the interior and actually building out this electrical system as I started sharing in my last video, and there's several videos in this sub-series that's gonna come on my electrical system. Quick run through this once again, we got six 300 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. We actually have three different shore connections at two different voltages. We have multiple solar systems, dual alternators, both 12 and 24 volt charging up these systems and be able to charge either direction in either way. Remote battery switches to disconnect every single one of these battery pairs and so much more in this thousand amp distribution system. So a lot more to share, a little refresher, here we go. Now the whole purpose of this super cushioning mesh as it's literally called is that it'll just give the batteries a little bit of vibration dampening and it'll also it's very sticky and so basically the batteries will more or less be stuck in a place and they're going to be locked in a place as well but they'll give them a little bit of cush it'll lock them in a place and then if any water gets down here granted the case of the batteries is sealed all the way about eight inches up but if any water gets down there at least it won't sit underneath those batteries it'll give it a little bit of an elevated space so it can hopefully air out underneath the batteries there so that's why the purpose of this I'm also going to put some cushioning foam on the top as well. And so uh, here we go. Let's start installing batteries. Woo! <laughs> uh, the batteries are, which you can see, are all lined up right here, ready to be installed. I've got all laid out. I've got my mat down that'll kind of provide a little bit of dampening. So what I've done is I've already cleaned out this floor here, vacuumed everything out, cleaned it out. And what I have down here is I put down, it's kind of like a, a siliconized rubber matting. Now this right here, and the reason why I put this down underneath the batteries is to give them just a little bit of cush. It just has a little bit of give, only a little bit. Uh, it's not that thick as it is, it's only probably about an eighth an inch thick, but it just gives a little bit of give, kind of absorb some of those harsher vibrations. Well, let's get these last two batteries in here, and if you, I have four installed right now, two going this way, the next two will go this way as well, meaning laterally, and these two going longitudinally. If we go back to that video, and I'll put a link up here, and that will show you what happened with these batteries. The chins, 12.8 volt, 300 amp hours each, they're in a fantastic form factor, about eight and a half inches high. They're about nine and a half inches wide and about 20 and a half inches long or 20 and a quarter, something like that. So they're excellent form factor. They're really good weight, 67 pounds, and most importantly also an excellent price. I did go ahead and test them out. They totally got the full 300 amp hours out of them. I actually got a little bit more. I got about 305 amp hours, and I still was holding good voltage. So absolutely, and I did that on two different batteries, so I feel really confident about these batteries. So bottom line is, let's get these batteries installed. Okay. Ah. Battery number Five coming into place. All right. Boy, how's that for a pretty perfect fit, huh? Don't worry, folks. I am a professional. Sort of. I know a little about the manufacturing of these batteries since I've managed the engineering of several of these battery plants. I just know a little. <laughs> Very little about a lot of different things. Okay, let's get this in place. I'm always learning from all the rest of you on YouTube and elsewhere. The internet is an amazing resource for education, and that is a big reason why I do these videos. It's really about trying to help you and your camper build or whatever else you're building because so many of you have also helped me with not just this camper build, my previous camper builds and so many other things. So. Thank you to everybody who's a contributes out there with knowledge and of course all of you who are also gaining from this knowledge because we're all gaining by sharing and working together. I'm going to get this last one in here now. I think I'm going to have to do it the same way. Go up like this. Drop that in like that. And she's in. Come around this way. Get her into a spot. Make sure I'm not... Fold it up on my mat here, my rubber mat. It's part of the benefit of this rubber mat. 
is it keeps things nice and stable and clean. Look at that. Six batteries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah! Woo! All right. That's time for some celebration. Yahoo! Let's celebrate. All right. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this video because there's so much more depth I'm going to go through in the future videos on several things. One is how I determine my exact cable length so that I made sure they're exactly the same between each of these three battery pairs. And of course, also how I wired them together, including even manufacture my own custom angled lugs. And I can show you how to do that to account for kind of some strange little angles you may have to deal with when you deal with some of these larger wires. And of course, also how to modify the marine rated battery fuses to ensure that they were protected, that the wires were protected all the way from the batteries, all the way back to the Link's distribution system, and actually how that Link's even provided a second set of fuses and some of the benefit of that as well. And then also a little more on the color coding and why I used it that way to color code each of these cables and how they laid them out and why I did them that way and even how I built the floor and made sure that, that the aluminum floor, while it looks very close, is fully protected and sheathed and insulated to protect those cables and cable lugs. And so that way to make sure they are safe. And also how I even mounted these cables and the batteries down to ensure that everything is stable and secure and that there's a least amount of resistance between everything and access and safety for operating and using a system as well as even removal of any of these components including any of the batteries so i know it's pretty complicated there's a lot more to come in future videos so thanks so much for watching and watching and subscribing to my future videos as i will share a lot more to come on this expedition camper build